my friends, welcome back in new episodes of Lords of the Blades. You're gonna see legendary Nunchaku. Master Yaku is going to explain how this thing works, show you other cool stuff, and we're gonna do also crash test. And in the end of this episode, maybe I will try to throw this special version with blades. So, let's get started. So Master Jakub, uh, can you a little bit explain what types of nunchaku we have today here on this table and also how it all began with this, this so, weapon? Uh, this flail is uh, origin of uh, nunchaku, it's uh, from uh, China in Song period from 10th to 13th century. Mm -hmm. It was uh, using it for example for uh, uh, horse legs eating and after that it become shorter and it's nunchaku as you know. We have uh, some kinds of nunchaku here. For example, this one is a Japanese one, uh, used for example in uh, Kobudo. Uh, you should uh, use uh, segments of Nunchaku for blocking, uh, same like in Karate. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for Japanese, Nunchaku is typical using of rope. Uh, and this kind of is Chinese one. Uh, uh, chain is uh, much more longer and uh, in this case you should block uh, uh, like this, of course, you should block uh, with uh, chain as well. Mm -hmm. uh, here is one cousin of Nunchaku. Uh, maybe you remember uh, episode Ninja uh, Hidden Ten Weapons. Ninja weapons it's yeah. uh, mm -hmm. Mandriki Gusari. Mandriki Gusari uh, is Japanese weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is so called Japanese type, but it's from Okinawa in the south of uh, uh, Japan. It was first time independent uh, kingdom until the start of uh, 17th century. Mm -hmm. And this kind of nunchaku, which is here, is the general nunchaku, is uh, very difficult to master it. And uh, today, uh, Mr. Adam will show no spin throwing of this kind of nunchaku. I never tried this guys before, so we will see. <laughs> And Master Jakub told me that new jacko in past were used also for throwing. So we have target on about 10 meters and let's try. Ooh, not bad. And now let's see if it's possible to hit our target even on about 15 meters. Great hit in the middle and we split it in half. One of the ancient fighting technique of Nunchaku was kicking of Nunchaku to the opponent's face. So Master Jakub, I'm wondering um, what type of Nunchaku you would uh, put for the beginner? You would give him something like this or so, maybe something else? In our dojo we are using uh, original hardwood Nunchaku, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, in a different dojo uh, we should see a so-called soft Nunchaku and it's uh, uh, good for training without uh, uh, risk of injury. Mm. Uh, and uh, so Nunchaku is very good for tournament because you should fight uh, together without mm -hmm. risk that you should be damaged. And you would use them as a single weapon or maybe with also with the other one as a pair or? Yes, yes. Yeah? Uh, it's a pair using of Nunchaku as well, uh, but it is with advantages and disadvantages as well. Because if you have only one Nunchaku, you should block. Ah, uh, okay. But if you have a, a power of Nunchaku, you should only hit. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it's good to practice with power Nunchaku as well. Uh, but uh, it's only one uh, aspect of using of nunchaku. Mm -hmm. Ah! 
By the way, Nunchaku is not a toy or something funny from Ninja Turtle. It's very effective, uh, destructive weapon, and now we should see uh, some uh, crash test mm. with this weapon. <laughs> Let's go, guys! Okay guys, after two hits with the Ninjaku, we have two massive holes on this cabbage. And I can tell you, it's really not that soft target as you would think. So this would be very big concussion and possible maybe... Maybe lethal. Yeah, breaking of the bone or something like that. Wow, great job. But we have more stuff to destroy, come on guys. And now we have for Master Jakub this heavy thick waist and he is going to try to smash it with the wooden nunjaku. What's going to happen? Let's see. <laughs> wow guys, look at that. The bottom of the waist don't even move. And that's a very thick ceramic. Wow, nice hit. It was very powerful hit, but as you can see here is uh, almost no damage, only small scratches. Wow. So in uh, correct uh, using uh, Nunchaku is very uh, dangerous weapon. Okay guys, this one we didn't expect it at all. It's a big block of granite and it actually cracked in half with a hit. It's a little bit bent, but uh, this blow was completely successful. Wow. So it's a horrible bone breaking power of Nunchaku. Definitely. <laughs> so here is one advanced level Nunchaku. It's called Dejer Nunchaku. It's uh, or originally a traditional Chinese uh, Kung Fu weapon. It's uh, very deadly because you, sh you should slash or stab uh, with ledgers in the ends of uh, Nunchaku. Uh, you should see a video how to use it. And now Mr. Adam will show how to no spin uh, throw uh, this kind of <laughs> Nunchaku. So. Thanks, Master. I actually never tried this before, guys. So it's going to be really experiment. Let's see if it's going to work. So like I said, guys, I never tried this before. But first technique on my mind will be something like this. Shuriken Jitsu grip and we're gonna try it with no spin like this double edge. Let's see. Ooh! Actually on the first try, pretty nice penetration. Not bad. Definitely it's going to work. Second technique that I want to try will be basically I'm going to be swinging and in the right moment I will try to release it and stick it to the target. Let's see. Wow, first try guys. Not bad. Last technique that I want to try would be basically like this catapult on the index finger. Let's see if it's going to work. Ooh! Not bad actually. Really nice powerful stick.
Wow guys, what's the great episode? Thanks to Master Yaku, we learned a lot of cool things about Nunchaku. For me it was extremely interesting to see perfect Adam's Nunchaku drawing. Ah, thanks, that was a lot of fun. And also really great instruction as you can see. So now we have to clean it with Master Yaku. So for today, that's it. So thank you everybody for watching, share, like, comment, subscribe and See you next time!